Hey guys, we're here. Welcome to Night Call. Now, this is a game I found on Game Pass on the Xbox, and it's like a noir situation. I kind of got like some backstory to it, but I don't want to say anything because I want you guys to experience this game with me because I have no idea what it's mostly about. But all I know is that it's a noir mystery. And you may notice the, the green screen's not there, and that's because I think I'm going to switch it for a blue screen later on because green jacket, green hair, not going to work out. So that's one thing. Uh, I really don't have anything to say today, so let me shut up and let's play this game. Choose the investigation. Judge, the angel of death, the sandman, surprise investigation, and random investigation. Uh, which one do you guys want to do? Hold up. Victims uh, have all something in common, and the motive seems clear, but which suspect could it have done it? Balance case, perfect first, first run. <laughs> random victims, unknown motive, weird case, slightly more difficult than the others. The victim may feel random at first, but there's a connection, yet the motives might be hard to find. Dark and twisted case. The game will randomly pick an unsolved investigation. Alright, I guess we'll go with the judge since this is our first play. Choose a difficulty mode. Story. Money will be easy to get by. The investigation will be easier. Every action will take less time for a chiller experience. Uh, the way Night Call was designed. Money will be tighter. The investigation will be harder to solve. You know what? I usually go on hard mode, but let's play by how the game was designed in the first place. You know, get that experience that they wanted us to have. You, 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 know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Monkey Moon, Black Muffin Studio, Raw Furry. Oh dear God. So do you guys like the ASMR that I'm gonna give you guys from now on? Because I finally got a good setup going on with my mic, so now I'll be able to give you some ASMR. Maybe actually. Here is the sound of Chex Mix being crumpled. Well, at least the bag anyway. I'm so sorry for you guys who are hating this experience right now. But it had to be done. Here? Sir, can you hear me? Or do I need to speak up? Yes, yeah, speak up. You're fine. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, you're fine. She takes a deep breath. Oh, I was doing like a, Sir, are you okay? But then that's a woman. Sir, you just spent two weeks in a coma. Oh, God. Did I miss the rockets? Oh god! <laughs> uh, the word bounces around your head. You need a moment to understand the meaning. Coma? The word scratches along your throat. Yes, you were a victim of an assault. <laughs> Why is there a scarecrow? Oh, that's not a scarecrow. That's part of the IV. <laughs> I thought that was a scarecrow. <laughs> that's part of the IV. The word resonates in your head. Victim. You are aware a serial killer is currently on the loose in Petty. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was the doctor. No. <laughs> you feel the contents of your stomach crawling up your throat. The judge, as the police called the killer, assaulted you. The bullet touched your liver and, in most circumstances, you would have would have been fatal. What do you mean, most circumstances? Isn't that all circumstances you would be fatal? It's the liver. Uh, we choose to put you in an induced... A voice becomes more distant. Fades. You taste the bile at the back of your mouth. Your head is burning. You hear a whistle in one ear. Your finger moves to your wound. Underneath the badges, you can feel hard skin. It's incredibly painful. Did he burn me? Did they? I'm sorry. They did. Oh, fuck. Did they? <laughs> fuck. Ah! Today, catch the judge, because he sounded like he had that kind of voice. Like, I've been smoking for 27 years, like, son. You've seen a lot of shit in my day. You're kind of like that. No. What about my passenger? What about the cops? Like, what about my passenger? He was dead before you even got out of your cab. Jesus Christ. The doctor is silent for a second. A very awkward second. 
she hesitates. Maybe I should just have a normal voice for this, the guy, because that's me, so. The police would like to see you as soon as possible to ask you some questions. After all, you're the only one who survived the judge. Noise in the hallway attracts your attention. You try to turn your head, to no avail. You need rest. She leaves the room. Her voice resonates in the hallway. I don't care if he's the only witness. <laughs> I don't care if he's the only witness. He's... Another female voice joins in. Strong, authority and voice. You can't, cl uh, you can't clearly make up what she's saying. A strange feeling washes over you. It's not pain. It's not fatigue. Some odd combination of the two. Before being in the hospital room, you'd never realize that anger was made up a combination of pain and exhaustion. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to the dark side. That's not how the line goes, but it's just what they gave me, so. A feeling you know all too well. Days go by, and a month later. And a month later, I'm pressing the button. <laughs> one. This is giving me some like 911 vibes. I recorded that but it's not published yet so stay tuned for that. Uh, boss. Boss. Uh, <laughs> try to give it Diablo. Well, I've got a bit of a problem. A real problem that is. You have a pounding headache. It's your first night behind the wheel since. Since the attack. Are you listening to me? You catch the boss's eye in the review mirror. Sorry. I just want things to get back to normal. To clear my head. To stop thinking about it all. He's watching you closely. Trying to make out what's going on in your head. What do you mean trying to make out what's going on? I clearly just said I want to forget it. I want to forget what happened to me. Hmm. What happened to this one particular man? It's like, what the? You know I'm worried about you, don't you? I know. You're like a son to me, you know? I know. And you know he's about to tell you a story about his taxi fleet again. When my father died and left me the store, I could have sold it. I could have retired. Gone back to the old country. Interrupt him, let him go on. But I decided to stop up Fox. <laughs> But I decided to start a cab fleet with the money he left me. To hire the guy from the neighborhood. And that's why I've got 55 guys like you working for me. His hands flutter in the air. No, it's not. <laughs> Though none of them are any match for you. He smiles. His voice suddenly takes on a serious note. Was that not serious this whole time? Uh. Do you want me to go over there? <laughs> He points to the equipment on the dashboard, the meter, the GPS. You haven't been in a taxi for weeks, maybe you need a little refresher. The other fares, you look at the map and decide whether or not you want to take them. And then you drive. Now I'm gonna teach you how to drive again, it's been a while. <laughs> Imagine. He flashes a quick mechanical smile. Uh, you know it well when he talks about work. He talks about work. That's all. When your shift is over, we do the numbers and... His voice trails off as he's searching for the right words. Blah. And that's all. Pretty simple. There's no reason why you can't do it. A fucking baby can do it. I literally have a baby. I have a toddler driving a cab around here. And yes, I've been arrested five times for it, but it's whatever. I don't know why I'm saying this to you. <laughs> Oh right, oh, uh, oh right, no overtime. We're in France here. There are rules, regulations. What do you mean? Is that a thing in France where there's no overtime? You might not see it that way, but no one likes having a driver who hasn't slept for 24 hours. He looks away. Something's been bothering him since he got into the cab. I'm pressing A, what is happening? Anyhow, you know the ropes. You get it. I know you're gonna do a good job. <coughs> What's the matter? Your boss keeps quiet. Ah, your boss keeps quiet for a while. As if he hesitates to speak, and then... I don't think it's a good idea. You shouldn't be driving. The 
murderer is still out there. And we think he's gonna come back for you. We? He doesn't know who I am. Maybe. Uh, yeah, who do you mean, we? Are you, you Venom? You Venom, the guy? Your colleagues. I do too. Anyway, I'll let you get back to work. Every minute spent in your taxi is a minute lost. Oh, sh**. <laughs> Come on, the time that I needed to not be- Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, get this hair out of my way. That's the thing bothering me about this hair. I've never had it this long before, so it, it's really hard to get used to it getting in my eye, you know? <laughs> like, most days it'd be like... I'd be looking like this, just unintentionally. <laughs> most days I'd be looking like this, on accident. And sometimes when I wake up, I'd be waking up like... Duh, 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 boss? Boss? <laughs> uh, I'm funny. <laughs> he gives you a smile. Half iconic, half serious. Good night, have a good evening, you can count on me. He scratches at an invisible strain on the armrest. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. A what? He smiles. Your boss opens the door and exits the cab. You, ah, you watch him cross the street and enter the fleet garage. A couple of colleagues are miling about. Taxis are coming and going. They all ignore you, consciously or unconsciously. You are branded by the guy who got attacked, and now your colleagues hate you for that. What kind of guy gets attacked? You mother- <laughs> You sit there a moment. You sit there a moment, then turn the key to the ignition. The hum of the engine sends a tingle down your spine. I'm not hearing anything, I'm hearing rain. It's impossible to describe how you'd miss that feeling. It's back to the night shift, back to life, despite the attack, despite it all. Good, so can I play the game? <laughs> okay, you so oh, nope, close, it's sorry, it's business. An ambulance passes as you speed ahead. Uh, eh, why not? Okay. Okay, 25.83 um, pounds. How much is that in American currency? Can someone can someone put that in the comments how much that is in American currency? All right, you up, oh, Granny seems to be the closest. Yo, Granny. Oh God, we gotta got drive an hour again. With how much you paying? 20 pounds. I don't know how much that is. So. I don't know how much a kilometer is. I don't know this stuff. I'm American. The scent of orange blossoms fill the air, and passengers into. <sighs> As your passenger enters the cab, you smile. She returns your smile. Good evening. There is raw emotional warmth in her voice. You sense your passenger wants to talk about the killer. It's simple. Since the first murder, everyone thinks they know something. Everyone thinks they saw something. And this passenger is no exception. <laughs> Media! <laughs> it's pretty cold out tonight, isn't it? You nod. The passenger is like this elderly woman you immediately take a liking to. Oh, there are passengers like this elderly woman you immediately take a liking to. I can almost feel the cold air settling in around the corners of my mouth and up my butt cheeks. It's a funny thing. <laughs> I could have been more perfect. <laughs> it's a funny feeling, but one, uh, but one that nice cup of tea can't quickly dis dispel, dispel French talk. A smile plays across her lips. Or a cup of hot chocolate, of course. Or a cup of that good steamy jizz. Gee, I'm making this old woman terrible. <laughs> On nights like this, I can't go out on my own anymore since my husband died from a murder. Oh, shit. <laughs> and yet I have to. I have no friends. She glances over at you. Uh, why do you have to go out? I know all about that. Uh, why do you have to go out? Let me ask her why. Let's just say I needed to talk to you. 
I hope you won't get me wrong, but can I sh- Oh, the movie's just gonna stop then. <laughs> just drive around the block, if you will. I know who you are, and what you're doing. She's quiet for a minute, either searching for the right words or simply trying to reassure you. I admire what you're doing. The city really needs your help. So does the world. Ma'am, I'm a taxi driver. I get paid 20 pounds. I don't know what that is in American currency. Not to say that taxi drivers aren't um, really a good thing out there. Um, they're actually... Whoa, okay. The taxi drivers are actually pretty cool. If you get the right one, of course. Unless you get an a-hole. But, you know how they just help you drive and stuff. And it's just to pay. Uh, basically, taxis have been replaced with Ubers. But, technically, it's the same thing, really. You're getting paid to drive someone around, which I don't understand why t taxis get mad at Uber drivers. Just quit the taxi job and turn into an Uber. There you go. You're back to business. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not, um, um, educated in that sort of stuff, so I'm not gonna touch it. Don't take this the wrong way, but I know you're looking for the killer. I know what he did to you. I know why you're after him. She gives you a warm smile. I'd like to make you an offer. Get this Batman suit on that sweet ass and then take that guy out yourself and I will tell you why I got the suit. Don't worry if it smells weird and feels stiff. You can either take it or leave it. But I'd like everything I tell you to remain a secret. No matter what happens afterwards. And if you tell anyone, I swear to God. Where is it? Hold on. Where'd I put it? I don't know where it is. Shoot, shoot. Where is it? Huh. Well, guess it ain't gonna happen. Alright. I swear to God. What do you say? I'm listening. Seems pretty fishy to me. Not slightly. I'm listening. You see, when my husband died by a murderer, he left me a building. I converted it made repairs to the renovation but above all I gave it a goal a role a reason to exist now it is my sex dungeon this hotel also known as my sex dungeon I suppose you could call it a, a sex dungeon but <laughs> but that would scare away people who need it so say it is a retreat but same thing as a sex dungeon the word, the word is unpleasant connection. I think I, I keep calling it a hotel because my guests need to realize that they're only passing through, that their real life is out there waiting for them, and if they don't get the message, I lock them up in the basement. Cut my throat. Her eyes meet yours. There's more to the kind grandmother in the back seat of your cabin than the eye. A hint of greatness. My eyes are up here, boy! <laughs> are you following me? No, you're in my cab, ma'am. <laughs> yes, I believe so. Yeah, I get it. Good, then. Well, anyhow, take off your pants. <laughs> Why am I doing this to this poor woman? This hotel is reserved for men. Any woman or couple will be shot on sight. This hotel is reserved for men, women, and couples for anyone who needs it, really. No children allowed, though, I guess. I use the word reserve, but there isn't any eligibility conditions, none of that. Uh, da, 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 da. We live in a wonderful country, but sometimes it falls to recall the fundamental values because we live in a society. I turned into Indian accent now. I do not know why that happens. <laughs> Liberty, fraternity. In my hotel, I take in people who've been chased from their homes for every imaginable reason. Right now, I have a couple of women who are victims of domestic abuse, though they chose the wrong place to come to. <laughs> a young woman thrown out of her home because she didn't want to have an abortion. Wait, what? Wait, she did not want to. Okay. Wait, that happens? Wow, okay. Two couples who were thrown out by homophobic parents. 
Wow, that's just pretty shit. <laughs> she knights knits her brow in concentration. Does that give you a better idea? Is it for free? People pay whatever they can afford. Which is mostly nothing, so yeah, I guess it's free. She gives you a smile. I don't do it for the money. I'm not interested in that, you know. I'm just interested in that sweet booty. A forehead creases. Helping people in many ways more than one. These people in trouble. I welcome them. I listen to them. I give them a moment's peace. I strangle them. I tie them up. I do some real BDSM shit. Some spend a single night, others stay for a month, others never leave because they're not allowed to. Most of my guests don't stay long though, because they die. I'm too rough. They leave as soon as they get back on their feet, which takes a while, I can say. <laughs> I'm not going to continue that. As soon as they found housing. As soon as they work out whatever caused them to leave home in the first place. You smile. There's always room, actually. They've never been full. And that's... <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about that, but no. And that's what I've come to see you about. Oh dear, never mind. Please fill me up. <laughs> I didn't want to make the joke before, but the context is making it arousing. <laughs> you and I, we're the same wavelength. We're working for the common good! And I'm getting paid, but okay. The forehead creases again. Like a crumpled sheet. Are you saying that I'm an old ch You f I look like Medea! I'll beat you, child! I may be wrong, of course. Am I? Um. It's not all that simple, really. Uh, excuse me. Are you hunting the killer out of revenge? I, I gave you the Batman suit. You can't be doing that. Sh Before you can answer, she holds up a hand. I'm sorry. The reason doesn't really matter. I'm starting to sound like Master Roshi. What matters is the good that comes out of it. Now I really sound like Master Roshi. She gives you a smile. Let me finish my little speech. Oh my god. Here are my rules or request if you would rather. Rule number one. No joking. My neck isn't built for that anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can mention my place to anyone you think may be in need of help. Once you drop them off, I ask them in. I talk to them and I take care of them. And then I pay you the money for the sex I, I mean. You're free to go. You don't need to worry about me. I have my own security staff. And by that I mean my two grandsons who are very muscular. One's name is Jonathan, the other's name is Joseph. Your passenger gives her arm a pat, as if she's a holster under a shirt. You glaze... You get ah, You glaze? <laughs> Your gaze locks with hers. She flashes you a meaningful smile, as if you were... As if you were in the know? Rule number two! If someone specifically asks you to bring them to my place, don't do it! That means they weren't really ready for more. Some of my guests are being pursued, hunted, and it wouldn't be shame. Oh, and it would be a shame to let the wolf into the sheep herald. A bright smile from the back seat. You can feel her warmth, the scent of your passenger's perfume. Orange blossom, simple and suggestive, hangs in the air. She's not smiling. <laughs> A pause. She watches you intently. You pull over to the spot where you pick her up. Now, now I'm going to ask you once and for all. Do you want to help me? A simple yes or no will do. It is a no. Well then, I'll fight. Wait, what? It is a no. Well then, I'll find someone else. Uh, I do have one question. No, no questions asked. I've told you everything I need to know. Take it or leave it. She smiles at you. So what do you say? Yeah, I'll help you, of course. A smile lights. Oh, God. That 
La verdad está dando que par. Oh my god, get out of my face. A smile lights up in your passenger's face. Here's my card. She hands you the money for her fare along with the business card. You and I were going to do three things together. We're going to make so much babies. What was that? I don't know what. I can feel it. In my vagina. Okay, no. She exits the cab. And a little squeal escaping her and a cold strikes her full force. Ugh. Sorry. Can I pause? All, right, all in all. That is an amazing thing to do, actually. When people do that, they have like a specific home for people who were um, abused, uh, left behind, uh, neglected. Uh, or just any scenario where the human was treated badly and they have like these specific homes where um, they take care of those people that have been um, wrongfully treated. And really, no one should really be treated like that. No one really should be, in my opinion. I believe everyone deserves to be happy. Uh, that's why I'm the happy-go-lucky guy, because I want everyone to be happy around me, you know? I'm that one guy in the group who always smiles. I'm never uh, sad while I'm in the group. I'm, I'm always smiling, because I want everyone else to smile, you know? I'm that guy. But, um... It's really sad knowing that a lot of people out there are going through this stuff. And so, I think it's really amazing that people um, take them in and help them get back on their feet. And I got to witness this firsthand because... Uh, I did some volunteer work at one of these, which is, uh, I say about like a, an hour or two drive away from my home. But it was worth it because I would like help around the place, um, kind of clean up. I mostly did like maintenance work, like, um, um, taking one thing to another place. I mostly worked with this guy where we worked in a truck and we'd go pick up donations, put them in like this, um, big truck, uh, pack it all up, go back to the place and put it there uh that's basically just a bit but i also worked around the actual headquarters you know like just helping around doing some chores um cleaning um cleaning out the garage mowing the lawn stuff like that sweeping um maintenance work and stuff like that and i actually loved doing it because i saw that um it was mostly for women as well i should point that out it was mostly women i don't believe i ever saw an actual adult male in there that was, um, I wouldn't say patient, um, resident. Because uh, there were a lot of adult males there, but like as volunteers and workers. But um, I never actually seen a resident that was male. So it was, it was a lot of females, and they, some of them had kids. And it made me feel really good inside when they saw this like 15, 16 year old helping out. And like just seeing their smile made me feel so good. That's why I love doing it. So, I can understand helping out those people, and I think it's really amazing that people do it. I'm sorry if I'm ranting right now. It's just such a noble cause, and if you are doing that and you watch this, thank you. You are a good person. You are a good citizen. This is like one of those like um, YouTube videos where it's like, we need to talk about something real quick. You know those? <laughs> uh, what was I? Oh yeah, of course. How long have we been doing this? We've been doing this for 49 minutes. Holy crap. 49 minutes. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you guys still haven't put in the comments what you think the new like button outro thing should be. So, still waiting for that. Still waiting. So, in the meantime, make sure you click that like button. Please just subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Hold on. Before you go, this just popped up. It just, I tried to leave, but it just randomly popped up. So it said that a woman came into, just a random woman came in the back. And here's what she has to say. Having a good night? For a second, you freeze. Oh, sh she is. Whoa, okay. You got the eyeball me. This is one of the cops working on the judge's case. She grins at you. Her voice creaks. You remember seeing her at the hospital. Something already bothered you about her there. You know... It's pretty crazy. For weeks, I've been saying to myself, there's something off about you. Something not so nice. I dug around, mulled it over, bugged at my fellow cops about it, because I was sure you lied to us. 
didn't lie, let her keep going. Uh, just go ahead, keep going. I have nothing to say. She has a cold sneer on her face. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to be frank with you. She leans over to you. I don't think you're the judge. Nah, I just can't picture it. Okay. What? Why would you even think that? Like, yo, this guy, he got stabbed by the judge. He might be the judge. What, what do you think? Who the fuck hired you? She squints, like she's trying to make you out from far away. Like you've gone to the extent of hurting yourself. Wait, like you have gone to the extent of hurting yourself. See exactly what? what? Yeah, between us, it's a bit of a stretch. She stares at you. But not enough of a stretch for my chief to stop going on and on about you. Am I special? Seriously, he talks about you all the time. If I didn't know better, I'd think he had a crush on you. <laughs> she smirks. No, no. I think he's more interested in your profile. In prison, at 17. And I see ch oh, uh, an icy chill fills over your gut. And for murder too. Wait, what? What did I do? You open your mouth, but nothing comes out. Since you got out, you kept a low profile. Like you're lying about your name and your address. I checked. It's normal, you'd say. If they get word of your time served, no one, no loan, for, no loan for your payment, no lease for your car. Meaning no second chance at life. Hello? A voice becomes softer, almost warm. I personally like guys who want a second chance. No, I like guys who fight for a second chance. Well, I got stabbed, so... Does that count? Basically, I like guys who are willing to work for me. Alright! She leans forward, her shining cat-like eyes narrowing. My chief wants to go to the prosecutor with the first and last name, with evidence. Actually, knowing him, he's not hot. He's not so hot on evidence. So I'll give you info. Victims, suspects, get, get back, get back, get back. Medical reports, some photos. There are a bit. She makes a gagging noise. You have to be discreet. Keep it between you and me. Interrogate, ask questions, dig around. I'm not a cop, I've never done this thing. I'm not a cop, that's not my job. <laughs> she shrugs. Don't worry, you've already ah, you're already keener than half the squad. And don't forget, I'm not asking you to make an arrest and deliver the killer wrapped up in a boat in front of the station, okay? You're no ba- Come on! <laughs> I already made the joke! You're no Batman. You're just here to get more information. Here, take my card. I'll call you in three, four days. Just to check in. We'll chat. You got this code, bro? And I'll let you know if I have new any new info. She takes on a tone. Like she was giving you a list of recommendations for a hundredth time. Don't get caught. Don't get arrested. Also, I wouldn't recommend you trying to leave Paris. I know what you look like, and I know who your friends are. Lady! I have no friends anymore. After I got stabbed, all my friends left me. Seriously, what is that about? You can either be the solution or the problem, my friend. She takes a minute to scan your face, your emotions. If I have to, I'll go check in you- I'll go check in on you know who. Or Grandma? Her smile is biting. That reminds me. She know you've done time? You took a do I have a girl? A mom? Sister? Brother trends? <laughs> you shake your head. She snickers. Excuse me. Oh my little dirtbag, you cover your tracks well. <laughs> you just hear like Ada Ada <laughs> Wiccan. What if I refuse? I did what I could. Uh, I did what I could. Yeah, if you say so. 
She sighs in, in a tired, exaggerated way. Don't try to mess with me. Man, if things don't go well, I'll turn you in. For what? For what? I send your picture to all my friends in the media and every asshole in Paris. Your picture with your name on it. Your real name. What? So you mean you'll rat me out, not turn me in? Anyone close to you will have their places searched. They'll be put under house arrest. Spend nights at- Why? Why? That's not legal. You can't do that. You have any idea how tense things are with the trial underway? You sigh. You know just what she's trying to get at. Come to think of it, your last names are almost the same. You could be brothers actually. Oh my god, I don't even know my last name. I'm nothing like a terrorist. I'm nothing like that son of a- Uh, let's say that. She smiles. Let me tell you, with that face of yours and your handle, they'll welcome you with open arms. Can you get out of my cab right now? <laughs> Please? You have no right. I know. I know we have no right. My face is more void. She takes on a serious tone. Business-like. I want to catch this killer personally. I want to drag him to court. Ruin his life with a bang. Literally, with a bang. I will shoot him in his eye in court. I will go to jail, and that means you will go to jail, which means your friends will go to jail, which means the neighbor will go to jail, which means grandma will go to jail, which means Batman will go to jail. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I can't botch this case. You got me? And neither can you, right? Nope. Obviously, say nothing. Uh. Say nothing. Say nothing. You ripped open your gut. You saw your own insides. You were in a coma. Yet, yeah, you have plenty of reasons to want to get back at him. She furrows her brow. Yeah, I think you're actually- I, I think you're actually going to do what I tell you to. You investigate, ask questions, listen to all the rumors, and come up with a list of suspects. She lays her hand- oh, she lays her hand on the door handle and freezes. Oh, right. And don't get fired. Without this cab, you're worth nothing to me. Which means your friends will be a house arrest. Which means you're going to the pound. Which I, That's basically what vibe I'm getting from her. You glare at her. I want to. I want to. I want to so bad, but... You gotta respect. She's a cop. You, you can't do that. You gotta show her respect. I mean, I get it. She is a mega. But she is just trying to do her job and catch this guy who tried to gut me and I'll help her but could you ask a little more nicely I'm a nice guy she puts her hand up and you can hear her words behind it this conversation never happened I'll make sure you get more intel tomorrow I'll find a way until then not a word to anyone obviously not a word the door opens squeaks and slams shut <laughs> I still say it anyway. <laughs> well, it's gonna be censored out, so there you go. You sit alone for a while, teeth clenched, dry eyed, ears buzzing. On the back seat, the cop left a pile of papers. Key to the ignition, motor running. I half expected him to say it again. Radio on, crackles. Okay, you turn it at uh, you turn it off and start driving. Talking to the passengers, might unlock new documents and clues to your investigation. You will find them at the back of your studio after your shift. Can I stop the video now, please? <laughs>